Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to drop a fixed front shorts with waistband, with zipper pocket, with inseam pockets, and with back darts. Also, I will show you how to lay out the patterns on the fabric and also the proper way of cutting the fabric. I hope you will like it. Let's get started! For the tools needed, so we have the French curve, two markers for the front and back, hip curve, ruler, tape measure, scissors, and a pattern paper. So you need one half sheet of pattern paper for this pattern. So to drop the pattern, you have to make first the perpendicular line. So from this edge of your paper, measure 3 inches. Then draw a horizontal line. From this edge, measure 2 inches. Then draw a vertical line. Then mark the corner A as your starting point. So this is your perpendicular line. Since you have a waistband in this pattern, so you have to reduce your length. Example, waistband is 1 and 1 fourth inch. Your length is 20 inches. So you have to deduct 1 and 1 fourth inches to 20 inches. So minus 1 and 1 fourth. So that is 18 and 3 fourths. So this is now your length. Also for crotch. Crotch is... 11 and 1 fourth minus 1 and 1 fourth. So your total crotch is 10 inches. So from point A to get point B, measure 18 and 3 fourth. So this is now your point B. Then from point A to get point C, use your crotch measurement. So that is 10 inches. So this is now your point C. Now, project point C and point B to the right. Then from point C to get point D, use your hip measurement. So this is point D. Then from point D to get point E, measure 2 inches as your front crotch curve. And then project point D upward. To get point F.
Then from point B, measure three and a half inches upward to get point G. Then from point F to get point H, measure 3 4 inch to the left. Then connect point D to point H using ruler. Then shape the front crotch from point G going to point F using point E going to point E using French curve. In line with point B and H. Then from point H, use the waist measurement. So waist is divided by 4. So this is now your point I. Then raise about 1 fourth inch from point I to get point J. To get point K, measure point C to point E. And then divide it by 2. Just fold it into 2 to get half of C and E. So this is now your point K. Then project point K upward and downward. So this is your green line. Then mark the intersection points as point L and M. So M and L. From point M, use the bottom width. So bottom width divided by 4. So example, 10, 20 divided by 4, so that is 5 inches. So, 5 inches to the left and another 5 inches to the right. Then, shape the hips or connect point J, point I, and C using hip curve then connect point C to point O so this is point O and this is point N using hip curve Then connect point J to point L with a slight curve. So this is now our front pattern. 
So before we proceed to our back pattern, let us trace the front pattern on another sheet of Manila paper or pattern paper using carbon paper. So again, to separate the front pattern or to trace the front pattern, so you have to trace points O, M, N, E, G, H, L, J, I, N, C. So this is our front pattern. So let's start making the back pattern using other color of marker. So for the back pattern, We need to use this front as the basis to drop the back part of these shorts. So from this point, from point F, to get point 1, measure 1.5 inches. So this is now your point 1. Then from point E to get point 2, measure 1 inch. Then point 3 is the same as point D to G. 3 and a half inches. Then connect D to 1. Extending upward. Then from point 1 to get point 4, measure 1 and a half inches. So this is point 4. Then shape the back crotch using French curve. From point 3 going to point 2. Then from point N Use one half inch. So this is point five. Then from point O, also one half inch. This is point six. Then point from point C to get point seven, also one half inch. Then connect point seven to point six using hip curve. Then connect point two to point five using hip curve. Or if you do not have French uh, hip curve, you can use ruler. So 
you have to measure this side of the front. Make sure that this is the same with the back. So that is 19 and a half. So this back measurement is also 19 and a half. And then from point 4 to get point 8, measure your waist. So 34 divided by 4, so that is 8 and a half plus 1 inch for the dart. So that is nine and a half inches so this is your point eight then connect connect point four to point eight using ruler then connect point eight to point seven using hip curve And then for the dart, you just get the center of point 4 and 8. You just fold your tape measure into two. To get the center. And then, so this is now your point 9. And then the length of your dart is three and a half inches. So this is point ten. Then project point nine downward up to point ten. Make sure that your ruler is in line with point four and eight. From point 9, left and right, to get point 11 and 12, measure 1 half inch on both sides. So this is point 11 and point 12. So connect point 11 to 10, connect point 12 to 10 to make a chart. So this is now our back pattern. Let us cut the front pattern. the waistline you have to fold the dart meeting point 12 going to point 11 connect first point 4 to point 8 
front and back pattern of fixed front shorts. To drop the inset pocket, so you need your front pattern. So from the corner, measure 9 inches. So that is the length of your pocket. Then project your line or your point to the right. Then the width of your pocket bag is 6 inches. Then project your point upward. Then from this corner, measure 4 inches as the width of the pocket opening and the length is 3 inches. So draw a straight line, then shape your pocket opening using French curve. And then you can also shape the pocket bag, the lower part of your pocket bag, if you want. To make it low, uh, look interesting. So this is your inset pocket. So to separate this pocket, you have to use another sheet of pattern paper. Make sure that the width of your pattern is enough for the width of your pocket. Since your pocket has a center fold, so you just make a fold, a double fold, or fold it into two. So this is your center fold. And then place it under your pattern, then put a carbon paper. Make sure that this line is aligned with your pattern, the same. Then trace your pocket. Okay. So this is now your pocket for the front pattern. Cut your pocket. So remember that all patterns have no seam allowances. You will just put it directly on the fabric. So this is how it looks like. For the zipper placket, this is how you will do the pattern. So first, draw a straight line. So this will be your baseline. Then the length of the zipper placket together with the seam allowance is 7 inches.
Then the width is 2 inches. Then shape the corner. So that is our fly for the zipper pocket. Left and right fly. For this pattern, you need one yard of cotton twill fabric with 60 inches width. So to lay out this pattern, first fold your fabric and then twice fold, then twice center fold facing both right sides then make a trial layout to make to make sure that your fabric is enough for your pattern Remember that our patterns have no seam allowances. So you have to make, you have to allot spaces for seam allowances. So that is only trial layout. Place the pattern on the fabric. Mark the zipper. So 
So, the length of our zipper placket is only 6.5 from the metal up to the upper part. 6.5 inches. So, you have to mark it on your For the placket, you can use your excess cloth to lay out your placket pattern. So this one is double with center hole. This is for the right placket and another single for the left placket. For the pocket, you can use lightweight fabric. You just have to place facing, not to see the other part of the fabric. So use your pocket as guide to make a facing. So you have to make facings for both pockets. So you just cut following the shape.
this one is for this part. Also, you need to make facing for this part. Yes, also. 